In today's video, we're going to do an implicit nude session using the early morning light that enters this studio with Berta. Go for it. Hello everyone, I'm Joan Hernandez, and here I am for another week with a photography video. Today we are going to do an implicit nude session, but we are going to do it with natural light. That is, we are going to use the light that comes directly from the sun through my studio first thing in the morning. That's why you see this level of contrast, because it's seven or so in the morning, and basically what we have is a very beautiful light that enters diagonally and creates that pattern on the wall, for example, in this area. You can see my shadow, the light is very directional, and with this we are going to have a very beautiful effect. I'm going to take advantage of this morning light to make different scenes around my studio, creating different photos of Berta. Berta, you have her Instagram below. She is a beautiful model from Barcelona, and it is very worth following her. Let's start, without further ado, because I have very little time, and the light is going to go out, and the important thing when we have this type of light is precisely that taking advantage of the light and not wasting time on technicalities, stories, and focusing on achieving use those patterns that the light is making. Let's start here. I'm going to start by taking some photos of Berta in that space. Okay, Berta, I'm going to need you to sit up a little and lower your legs a little, like hanging them, instead of holding the stool. Uh, exactly, perfect, great, like that. And what I'm going to look for here is a composition where she looks very grunge. Don't look at me if I don't ask you. Turn your face to let the sun come in. Brilliant. Super nice. What I'm going to do is look for a point where I have an exposure where the light enters it and generates a very nice contrast. Using the camera's live view, I can see a little how the light behaves, and I can work directly on the viewfinder. I don't need to have any type of exposure alarm at all, anything like that. But I'm just seeing how the photo is going to turn out because I'm working with natural light and the camera can see what the light is like at all times. Let's keep moving, Berta, let's try. Stand more laterally instead of sitting, that's it, perfect. And we change the arm, we change the chest arm, perfect. E and don't lean back so much, lean your back a little more towards me, your arm in the microwave. Yeah. We want these images to be very everyday, to be very... We got up in the morning, we have good light. Raise your back a little and raise your elbow a little, that's it. A little elbow to cover the nipple. That's perfect. Let the chest be seen from below, super pretty. Great, Berta, super nice. Can you lift your back leg and put it on the counter? Even if it arrives in a sock, perfect, don't worry. There's more, perfect. Now pull your lower back inward, pushing your chest outward, and turn your chest more towards there. Move a little over there so that the light comes in. That is perfect, that your face is in the light. Super pretty. You notice when the light enters your face, that is what we are looking for, that you have light on your face. Super, super pretty. I'm going to change the angle a little bit from here and we're going to look for a point. Come back here a little. Okay, drop it. Just let the sun cross your face. That's perfect, it's super pretty. Let's look for an angle where it can be seen. Look at me, look at me lowering my chin a little. That's perfect, super pretty. Perfect. Super pretty. Perfect, I think we have it here in the kitchen. Let's try one more part in backlight. If you come here, Berta, what I'm going to do now is lean it against this wall. As you can see, the light enters super crossed. Hello. And what I'm gonna use is that backlight i'm going to shoot against this light and see how i can make that more busted background look pretty here if it doesn't work here we'll move a little further there we have many meters it's study as if to test where the light enters us best we will see where it works best let's start here lean against the wall standing up that's perfect super pretty wow this is brutal i love it okay here i have to change my exposure because the amount of light i have here being against it means that practically no light reaches it Let's see how this goes. It's pretty good here. Let's try something a little more like that. Because I don't want the bottom to be so burst. So I'm going to close a little more. Perfect. But the problem I have now is that Berta no longer gets much light and I'm starting to lose the effect of the light on her a little. Uh, so I have too much contrast. What I'm going to do is use this small LED from Zijun, which is the Mi 20, which is basically a very small LED. As you can see, this is what I have here. It is this tiny thing that you see here, and it basically has a diffuser panel with a magnetic system that makes it super comfortable to work with. So this small LED will allow me to add a touch of fill in these types of scenes, where without taking up any space, I can always carry it with me, and it allows me to put a little light on the image I'm creating. That way we basically went from what we had to this. And at this point, what I have is just the necessary fill to get that light that I wanted, and thus have a slightly more beautiful light. I'm going to get a little closer to her. 
Let's see how it is. There, uh, uh, perfect. I'm just looking for that little point of light that basically gives me that glow in it that I wouldn't have otherwise. Look over there. Leave your head sideways, leaning on your side, that is. I'll leave it a little more rotated, that's it, perfect. And look over there, perfect. These types of LEDs are great, but what do you know, an idea, this is with, and I'm going to turn it off, we can change their color and do a bunch of things with them. But the truth is that they are super comfortable LEDs to work with because they allow us to have a light at any time we want and in any situation and achieve a goal that allows us to give that little fill that we would lack otherwise. And that allows us to work super comfortably, super easy to use. It can be handled from here from the camera. It weighs absolutely nothing. Eek. And we have different ways to change its color, etc. And we can even put special effects on it. So the truth is that it is super comfortable. I use it in white. We give a little point of light and that changes the images a little. Let's go to the couch. I'm going to need you to get on the back of the sofa, which is where the light comes in beautifully. They're super nice, exactly. Let's say I see if you don't kill yourself with that. Oh, great. And lean on the window. Here we are, going to look for the same effect a little. They're perfect, it's super pretty. Uh, there I have the super burst window behind it, and thanks to the LED, I get that little fill that allows it to no longer be a silhouette, and in this way, I can have a prettier light on it while maintaining that effect in the background, which is super nice. We can move our arms a little, change them, how they hold their eyes, and cross them. Perfect. Lower your elbow a little, where your chest can be seen. There, super pretty. Perfect, Berta. Yeah. Uh, we can support you a little more. Okay, perfect. Just to catch that effect of the flare of light. Super pretty. The truth is that it is super, super good. And the result is super good. Okay, let's go down and sit on the side here. As you can see, when working, when we have good light, what we have to do is focus on working with the subject. It is not so much focusing on the technical part being perfect, it is more on the subject being perfect. That's where the photo is going to convey. Lean more on the wall. Come a little closer. That is... You let... Perfect. There. Great. Super, super. Uh, it's perfect there. I love the contrast that the light generates in it. But notice how the brightness that the eyes have is thanks to this little flash that I have here. Or this little LED that I have here on my couch, which really helps me a lot to give a pop to my face that I wouldn't have otherwise. And I think that's super nice. Great, uh, Berta, very nice. You play with it, look towards the corner and play a little with that hand. Separate your head from the wall a little. There, perfect. I'm going to continue with the LED because if not, this doesn't work well and it doesn't give me enough fill in her and I lose the detail in her face. That's why this little light really works very well. Towards me, down. I knew it. Keep moving. You don't even need to be static. You can move smoothly in slow motion and I'll capture the moments. Super pretty, right? I love that bracelet. Change that hand from below. Take it here to the thigh. Uh, that's perfect. Yeah. An interesting photo occurs to me. Here I have the table set up. For there, this I will not need the LED because it will be too far away. Keep in mind that this LED is relatively low power and that works to do this type of thing when we are very close to the subject, but it does not work if we are extremely far away. For what I'm going to do now, which is to use that table decoration as front and focus, if I put the LED on, I'm going to illuminate this part here. And I'm not interested because I want to give attention to it. So for this photo, I'm going to turn it off. What, a, what I'm going to do is to come here and look for an angle. That is where I have her, like very far away. But the truth is that it's super pretty. I love the light pattern on it. I'm going to let a little more light in. There, super pretty. Brilliant. I have this very out of focus because of the medium format. Can you turn your chest a little there? That is. E and so, and cover yourself with your hair. Uh, perfect out. No, the hair is fine. I think it covers you well. Cover the chest on the right. That is perfect. What we also want when covering nipples and such are images that she can use on networks, which if not in the end are not going to be of much use because if we can't publish them, what's the point of having these photos? So we have it like this. We achieve a fairly optimal result. Super nice, Alberto. We had never done this angle in this studio, and the truth is that it is super beautiful. With this close-up of things out of focus and such, it works very well. Don't look at him, look at the ground. We can even try to make some type of blurring of the background. 
No, it doesn't add much. It's too unfocused. The light bite is beautiful right now because not only do we have the light that comes in from against us, but we also have the reflection of light that hits this wall on these stairs, the air conditioning machines. And light bounces off it, which makes it have that pattern on your skin that looks very, very beautiful. Let's see if we can try. Let's see. Let's bring this here and let's try to sit here and see if we can get it to have a little light. Sit there. Okay, cover your chest. And there we are going to need the LED. One of the incredible things is that this tiny LED has enough light for how small it is, but it also makes zero noise. You can use it on a gimbal when you're recording a video and it will give you enough light to record, but it will also not make any type of noise, nor will anything come in at all. Okay, here's cool this. Let's slow down a little. Look here, look at the table. Okay, great. You can lift it up, look a little bit. This part of the back chest with the arm as if you were touching the hair, simply. That's right there, perfect. Super pretty, right? Here, if I go in here, I'm going to even get a flare there. I'm going to see how the flare goes. Turn towards me, chest. That's perfect. Uh, and look here, towards my hand. Perfect. Let's go back to the sofa because we have the best light there now with this light input that we have from the opposite side. <clears throat> okay, but stand up, stand against the wall. We cover the chest with the hair, the other side past your hair like this, all the way to that side, and with that arm, you cover yourself like this. Exactly, perfect. Well, yeah, super pretty. I'm going to give it a little more negative space in front. Okay, keep moving. Move that hand. Try to change it a little. Raise your back elbow to cover your bottom chest. On the other hand, change your elbows. That's perfect. Brilliant. And like looking out the window, okay? From outside. Super pretty. That's right. Right there, a bounce of light comes in from outside that illuminates your face. Beautiful which together with the LED light makes a brutal combination to have a little more dot of light that helps a lot for the image to transmit a totally different vibe. Yes, sir. There, perfect. Lower the hand you have, no, the one you have up here. Lower the, exactly, perfect. Don't touch your face. Raise your elbow for the nipple, perfect. Oh, this is super nice. Well, I think that without a doubt, this is the photo of the day. Look outside the window. His expression is super melancholic. It works very, very well. Super pretty. Perfect. Well, I think we have it. Look how pretty this is. Yes, it's very cool. Yes, photo shot. The truth is that they are very cool. Uh, we have a lot of very cool photos. I think that the LED point gives it a brutal point because if not, well, you see the one with and without LED, and the difference is really abysmal for such a small product, but really here the talent is in her, in the model, on getting someone who is comfortable, who works well, and who will work with you to get the right result. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if not, see you in the next video. Bye.